and I have to warn you guys, it's really pretty. You might just see it and get addicted to pathology like I did. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, h &E Life. And it's actually come to my attention that people don't know what h &E stands for. It's something that is very embedded to my everyday job. And for me, it was, you know, without a second thought about it. But um, my friends have asked me who watched my video what h and &E stands for and I even asked my husband what he thinks h and &E stands for. He himself is a physician and all he knows is that I use h and &E very frequently for my job but he has no idea what it stands for or what it does. <laughs> so today let me explain a little bit more what an H and E is. So H and E is an abbreviation for Hamasa and an Eosin stain, and it is a stain that has been used in pathology since its discovery back in the 1800s. It's basically become the golden standard in tissue diagnosis for pathologists. Hemoxylin is a stain that highlights nucleotides, which basically means it highlights DNA and RNA and this stains that material blue or purple, purple blue. Eosin is a stain that really binds to proteins and it gives this pink color. So basically the color that we see on the slide corresponds to the concentration of how strongly the stain dyes the tissue. So for example, a nucleus is where all of the DNA and RNA in the body is housed. It would dye a very strongly deep purple blue color. And uh, in the cytoplasm is where a lot of proteins are stored um, after they've been made. And that's why cytoplasm stains pink. Other things that stains pink is uh, like, for example, soft tissue in your body stains pink because it's made of protein. Collagen stains pink because collagen is a form of protein. So I will show you a really quick example of what an H and E slide looks like. And that way you can visualize what I'm looking at every single day. And I have to warn you guys, it's really pretty. You might just see it and get addicted to pathology like I did. Okay. Okay, so what we have here is a sample H&E slide of a piece of colon. So this is a piece of colon biopsy taken from a patient who had done a colonoscopy. There's many reasons why a patient would get colonoscopy. The most common reason would be if they were experiencing unexplained diarrhea or they're getting to the age where they need regular colonoscopy uh, for colon cancer screening. And when they do that, they will go to their gastroenterologist. The gastroenterologist will put a colonoscope uh, into the patient and look for anything that looks like a polyp or for anything that may be suspicious that could represent cancer, like a mass protruding on the wall of the colon. And what we have here is actually none of that. This is just a biopsy of a benign looking piece of colon. Uh, what we have here is here, if you can imagine the colon, this connects to the rest of your colon, and this is the surface of the colon in the sense that this is what is facing the the, lumin the luminal side of your colon where all of the, you know, your poop is made. <laughs> so the colon's main job is to absorb water so you could go from liquidy digestive contents into solid poop. What we have here is the epithelium, which directly touches that and does the absorptive functions. So let's go a little higher power. So here I was saying how before H&E, &E, um, which is hemoxylin and eosin, hemoxylin uh, stains uh, nucleotides, which is DNA and RNA, and that's located in the nucleus. And what we have here is all of these circular, darkly purple staining things these are your nucleus and these are highlighting basically the cell that lines your colon. So this is a little tangentially sectioned, but here we have the nice example of what uh, the surface will look like for these cells. They're actually called columnar cells, which means they're basically long rectangles and they look like columns stacked next to each other side by side just hundreds upon thousands upon millions of them in your colon. If I could zoom a little closer, you can see on the surface, there's these microvilli, this 
fuzzy thing here, these fuzzy little, they're the tiny little microvilli that's on, on the outside of the colon cells, which will allow for absorption of the water and possibly other nutrients. And so here we have one cell and the, the circular dark purple staining is your nucleus and the pink staining by eosin is your cytoplasm of the cell. In the colon, these are goblet cells. These produce mucin and that kind of helps lubricate the colon to allow easy passage of poop. And within underneath, you see, wow, other than these cells, there's all these other kinds of cells here. And that is what the human body is basically like. It is just composed of millions upon trillions of cells that all have different function. That is a very, very brief and general overview of uh, H&E slide that someone in GI pathology will see a lot, which is what I'm going into. I love looking at this stuff. <laughs> I think it's so pretty to me when I see colon, I see field of daisies. And what I mean by that is like, look at this, look at this and this and this and this. All of these are to me, daisies and here's the center of the flower and here's all the petals and it's just sitting in this field and being happy and pretty and it's everything is purple and pink and it's really really gorgeous and this is why the, actually it's one of the biggest draw of why i really enjoy pathology okay well, I hope that was fun. If you have any questions, always leave a comment down below and please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.